by titles ambassador can free message uh, high commissioner to the republic of tanzania and uh, i'm also credited to some other countries like uh, zambia uh, mozambique madagascar uh, mauritius the comoros and malawi and the, the commissar and then East African integration. Um, the challenge is facing health sector in uh, Chirhura include people walking long distances from the health center A to the health center B or what they call outreach services, for example, immunization, vaccination, all those people because of the nature of this uh, Chiruhura district, like in all cattle corridor uh, areas, people walk for long distances to access uh, uh, medical health facilities. So, then there are, of course, is uh, lack of sufficient staff, like this community, this Russian community hospital. Lack staff because the government doesn't support them. This is a community; they raise funds from what they earn from, and even what they're earning is not. We don't charge a lot of money, so this hospital is facing the challenge of lack of uh, staff, corporate staff, lack of funds, and uh, sometimes they in debts uh, when they get supplies from medical. Uh, medical centers like uh, national medical stores or joint medical stores, you find they're always indebted. And uh, I think the president sometimes he bailed them out, but we've been discussing with the government that they solve that challenge. So the other challenge, of course, is uh, electricity bills, water bills, maintenance bills. All these are challenges due to lack of sufficient funds. Mm. You, you said one time government wanted to take it up and they refused. Why? Don't you think this would solve these, these problems? Well, when you look at the... For me, I was a strong supporter of this hospital being taken by government. Because I knew it would overcome all those challenges. Lack of funds, lack of staff. But the trustees in their wisdom said no. If it goes to government, maybe there will be no changes. I didn't see uh, the uh, big group, but so really I cannot say much. For me, I was a supporter, and I still support it, that maybe one day it should be taken by government, and we build a, a big far hospital uh, on this center because it has sufficient land. That was my, my, my desire, and I still really support it. Thank you. Government once we, we told uh, wanted to wanted to take up this hospital, mm. but in the wisdom of you, the, 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 the trustees, you refused. Why? Uh, Give us your name, sir. Uh, first of all, okay, I'm Tandika of Chairman, Board of Directors. Um, the main reason behind our refusal was that we do not want to lose out if Tukura is a district like other districts and by policy a district is entitled to share on the national cake the general speech. Why do we deny ourselves such such a share? Because coming uh, this one, as you can see, if you've been around here it is uh, it is already overstretched. So having another one, which is our due share on the national cake is no problem. We have a private, as you know, this one is private and definitely private hospital has differences from the government hospital. Right away now, one of the things we suffer uh, immense debts because a poor person comes when he's, he really needs treatment. Would you chase him away? You, you just treat him. He accumulates the debts. Nobody is going to pay that. You just give that service. But if there is a general hospital, would have where people can go for free government services. Braga is Sunday, director of Shere Community Hospital, uh, the place where you have been. We have just had the groundbreaking ceremony for the new maternity complex 
why you call it a complex is because it has the, the maternity, the part of the delivery area, the, the, the wards, and also it has a theatre which is attached on it, and also a neonatal unit attached on it. So it makes it a complex and what we can call a one-stop centre. We feel it's going to solve the current problems in that uh, the theatre that we've been having has been this, an old model theatre. It's an old model system that we've been having, even the structure was old. But with the creation of the new working environment, it's going to bring in improvement in the numbers of mothers that deliver. Because uh, uh, those who come for antenatal will be seeing the new structure and then they will be wanting for sure to deliver from a new place. Like always we do. All of us want to have to work in new things. We want to have our services, we receive services in places that look better than the places we have seen before. So I think it's solving a big problem here than what we have been having before. Okay. Why are people running, rushing to your hospital other than other facilities around? Uh, do, do you think they are in dire need? I think they are in dire need. I think they are in, if I get your question properly, why are they rushing to our hospital? Or, uh, I think why they come to our hospital is because their services, services are there. Doctors are there, the nurses are there, all services are there. But still we feel we're not giving enough. We still feel there are those people in the community who are not coming. I want to want to create an opportunity for them. If they can go to Kampala and give those services, services we are saying, can we bring them these services closer? So with the bringing in of the Japan Embassy to help us have a new structure, we believe that a, a, a large range of services are going to be provided than what we have been uh, having around before. Mm. Uh, doctor, we understand Shirua District has no district hospital. Yes. How has this impacted on uh, the health services? Uh, Rochelle Committee Hospital in 2005, when Shirua became a district, was nominated to be the general hospital for Chiruhora. So I think uh, Rochelle is doing its best in that uh, maybe a few things that are remaining in that people have to do some pay, some small pay, cost sharing. But I believe it is, is, is doing the services right now, shouldering in that weight for being a general hospital. The challenges we face mainly are health worker related. We don't have enough health workforce to support the status of the hospital. So we believe if the government can look into this, they give us enough health workers so that they're able to support the current work, the current work workload that the hospital has. I think to provide a better uh, output for the hospital, most especially which has a status of a general hospital. And currently, how many do you have and how many would you want? Uh, currently, we have about 76 workers. And the status of the hospital that we need to have 190 workers. So you can see that we are about 40% staffing, which is so, 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 so below the required limit to have a fully functional uh, general hospital. Yes. My name is Dr. Chitru Hagai Sande, Chitru Hagai Sande, hospital director. I'm called Inid Mwesije. I'm the chairperson of Women Council, Chiruhura District. I would like to thank God for this great opportunity that we received as the people of Chiruhura and Yabfrozi as, as a constituency. I really thank God as a chairperson on behalf of all women of Chiruhura for this great opportunity that we received, for this great grant that we got from uh, Japan as a country, to Uganda, to share a community as a hospital. We received a very big maternity ward that will accommodate so many things. We received a theater on top of that. Uh, this is so good as of course it is a very big benefit to the woman of Chiruhura. We are facing so many challenges. First of all, the facilities sometimes are not enough, they are not there, and that will help, this, this great opportunity will help a lot because it's going to support that woman, of course, who is not getting that chance. It's going to support the vulnerable group of women. So we are very grateful. We really thank God and uh, we appreciate uh, the Embassy of Japan, represented by the Ambassador of Japan to Uganda. We really thank God for this great opportunity and I know it's going to improve the lives of women in Chiruhura.